Hello everyone and welcome to this week's technical analysis video here at Xen.com. It's Tuesday, November 19th and the markets we are going to look at today are the Euro dollar, dollar yen and the US dollar versus the Canadian currency. So starting first with Euro dollar on the 4 hour chart, uh, we see that the market is currently consolidating between the 38.2% and 50% Fibonacci retracement levels of the downlink from 1.1174 to 1.0988 uh, facing resistance at 1.1081 uh, and support near the 200 day moving average while it's also worth noting that this area includes uh, the neckline of this uh, bearish double top uh, pattern uh, the, the short-term bias is still positive though so weaker as the RSI is heading uh, is looking to head back towards its uh, 50 neutral mark and the MACD is rising at a softer pace slightly slightly above its red signal line. Uh, so the 50% Fibonacci of 1.1081 and the 1.1092 uh, barrier taken from the highs on November 6th could act as strong resistance in the near term. If not, then the price manages to climb above 1.1011, uh, then we may see more gains probably towards 1.1140. On the other hand, if selling pressure has strengthened and the price drops below the 200 period moving average and more importantly under the 38.2% Fibonacci of 1.1060, uh, then we could look for support around 1.1032 where the 23.6% uh, Fibonacci is uh, located. Uh, moving next to dollar yen, uh, the dollar here seems to be uh, trading within a bullish triangle in the daily chart and the short term bias according to the RSI and the MACD uh, is looking neutral to bearish as the RSI moves sideways around its 50 neutral mark and the MACD keeps losing strength uh, under its red uh, signal line. Uh, the, the area between 109 and 109.50 which is uh, the 61.8 percent Fibonacci of the downlift from 112.39 to 104.44 are currently keeping uh, buying pressure under control if the market manages to overcome these levels and significantly breach the uh, 110 uh, le level, then uh, then we could see uh, more gains probably until 110.70, while higher uh, 110, 11.30 uh, could attract attention as well. On the flip side, if we close decisively below uh, the triangle and the 50% Fibonacci of 108.40 support could next come around. Uh, 107.80 and then somewhere between 107 and 106.75. Uh, finally, looking at uh, the US dollar versus the Canadian currency in the four hour chart, uh, the 200 period moving average currently at the bottom of the Ichimoku cloud uh, managed to stop uh, sharper declines earlier today. Uh, the market, though, is likely to remain under pressure as the 20 period MA is ready to cross under the 50 period MA. Uh, while if we look down here, uh, the RSI is still under its 50 neutral mark and the MACD uh, is still negative and below its red signal line, although more, although both uh, improving some, somewhat. Uh, so any attempt to rise higher uh, and above the 23.6% Fibonacci of 1.3215 uh, could find immediate resistance around 1.3235. In case this fails to hold, then we may see additional gains towards the uh, 132.69 uh, peak, while above that top, 1.33 uh, could prevent a retest of the uh, 1.3340 uh, resistance area. On the downside now, uh, the pair would probably try to overcome support uh, between the 200 period moving average and the 38.2% Fibonacci of 1.3. 3182 uh, before touching the 50% uh, Fibonacci of 1.3155, while another step lower could meet a stronger obstacle around the 61.8% uh, Fibonacci of 1.3130, uh, where the price strongly rebounded back in September. So that's all from me. Thank you for watching and have a great day.